Hi everyone, I am Dr. V and thank you so much for joining me on Vlogmas on the 25th. Yes, oh my gosh, this has been exciting. I don't know about you, but for me, this has been an exciting Vlogmas because like I said in the beginning, I was scheduled to do one last year, but I had all of this other stuff in the way to where I really couldn't focus, wasn't really into it, didn't think I could do it. And here I am a full year later, I've completed I don't know, maybe over 20. I didn't do one every single day. Um, I think I started strong and then reality set in. <laughs> um, this was a lot um, more challenging than I thought, but nevertheless, it is done. We're going to talk about how I plan for 2021 or how I'm thinking about planning for 2021. This isn't how I typically plan, um, but 2020 has been an <laughs> unprecedented year. It still has been an amazing year, but it's been unusual. It's just been a very interesting year. So how I normally plan is not like any other year. So we're gonna talk about that in this last video of Vlogmas 2020, so sad. All right, so let's get into it. How I plan for 2021, how I am planning for 2021. First of all, I wanna say Merry Christmas. Um, happy holidays, um, happy Hanukkah, and Kwanzaa is coming up, um, happy Kwanzaa, and I'm not sure if I'll be doing any videos on that, but I know I did something last year about Kwanzaa, and I may do something about that Kwanzaa, you know, I, I still think is underrepresented or under-celebrated in my opinion, uh, but I am going to do my part in, in Kwanzaa as well. We had a great Christmas. My family, we celebrate Christmas on Christmas Eve. We do all of that. So today was pretty chill. I spent most of the day. I spent Christmas Eve with my grandmother, my sister, and I spent even more time with my grandmother. Um, I'm trying to spend more time with her because Lord's will, <laughs> Lord willing, um, she'll be 80 in January. So I'm excited, um, love my grandmother. All right, so top five things we're gonna talk about how I plan for 2021. Like I said, this is um, different. When I typically plan is really about my college courses that I plan for and speaking events like uh, academic conferences and articles that I'm going to write for academic journals. I may plan like some trips on some vacations because I'm usually gone every month. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm usually gone every month somewhere, whether it's for work or for pleasure, I'm usually on a plane unlike this year. My only like trip on, no, I did, I was, I went on an airplane. I went to, of course, Singapore at the beginning before the pandemic, I almost didn't make it back in. And then I um, also went to Atlanta that was via plane, but that was for business. And then I went to Louisiana with a friend, but that was via car um, because we were taking her mother back home. Um, I think that's pretty much where I've been. I think I've been to Tampa, but yeah, I haven't really traveled as much as I usually do. So my passport is crying, but I am grateful, you know, because, hey, that's, that's money saved, right? Money saved, but I'm pretty sure things to get semi back on schedule for 2021 as far as traveling not fully um i was supposed to go to greece i was supposed to be in greece <laughs> uh for thanksgiving but hey whatever we'll see what happens but nevertheless again nevertheless i am still excited to be alive and well um got another chance to see christmas and looking forward to the new year all right rambling um i guess because i don't want vlogmas to end even though youtube is not going to end like i'll still do videos but I don't know, I've just been in the spirit of Vlogmas. So I, what it did help me to do is get a, a more focused um, niche for my channel. And I think that's what my problem was last year. It's like, what do I wanna talk about? Who's gonna listen to me? But honestly, you know, I see YouTube as just another, um, like a catalog of my content. And you know, and eventually someone's gonna come and see this catalog. And when I blow up, they have a track record of all the things that I've done. So, okay, okay, I'm gonna stop rambling. So the first thing, I wanna talk about why I'm planning for 2021 20, differently. I told you how I usually plan. It's, it's, it was for work, right? Nothing else. And maybe I'll do some business on the side, but this year I'm really focusing on business. Being a true CEO, there are two lanes in my business. Glenn White Global Solutions, which is really consulting and working with schools and school leaders on 
um, observations, leadership, mathematics, um, STEM, culturally responsiveness, things like that. And then the Vibe Institute, which is um, helping high achieving women or some few, a few good men, because I've had some, some, some few men, a few good men reach out to me, um, helping high achieving people vibrate higher in their influence, brilliance and excellence as they break their personal glass ceilings to be their most empowered selves in life and career. So you heard me say that two different things, but now it's like, it's not just like cute anymore. This is like, oh man, this is a real business. I've been doing some things over these last few months in 2020 and it's time to really plan like a CEO. So I, I've had some strategy calls with my um, business coach and looked at some things. And when I had the first call um, and laid out things, I was like, oh, okay, this is cool. I can, this is what I'm supposed to generate or this is what's possible for me to generate looking at all the things. And it's like, okay, but I think in the back of my mind, it was like, yeah, right, who's gonna do that? But now as I've completed my book, put some courses together, I've been speaking more outside of academia, I really see this as being possible. And in order for it to be possible, I actually have to plan like it is possible. So that brings me into the second part. So the first part of how I'm planning for 2021 is really shifting my mindset. It's like, you're no longer planning for you know, just going to work. You're no longer planning for, okay, th this is when I'll do my syllabi. This is when we we'll have, our, have our test. This is, you know, the meetings I'm going to go to. Maybe I'll schedule a trip in there somewhere. These are the conferences I'm going to. No, now it's more intentional about um, how are you really going to get your book out. And if you don't know, my book did make um, Amazon bestsellers list for new release. It came out on the 22nd. I'm so excited about that. That was a goal of mine. And if you watch one of the, I think the last vlog was video, you saw the moment that I got the news from the publisher. So I'm excited about that. And now this time, so this is my second book. My first book, I told you about that is about um, a tribute to my mother, found her notes, put it, compiled some things together and wrote a book. And I just wanted to do that so my mom could have her dream come true, even though she's no longer with us. The second book was like my real deal book. Like, okay, I want to be one of those um, personal empowerment, personal development people. I want to write a book like that. And I did. It was a, a book about my life journey, but not just so much about my journey, not my whole life, but just a certain part of time um, in my life where I went through some things, but I dug myself out of this hole and I'm still, you know, going to different levels. And not only did I just share my story, I, I shared tips, tools, strategies that I actually use to help me get to the next level. So thinking about that courses um, around that and people wanting to work with me as their coach because they're like, we've been watching you. I wanna do what you do and all of that stuff. Well, not like do what I do, but the, the freedom. And I was like, you think I have this freedom? <laughs> it took a lot to get there. But the fact that people are seeing that in me and they want me, they're hiring me as their personal coach. It's like, whoa, okay. So now I really got to be strategic and plan. And that leads me to these two planners. Now, I don't, this is not an unboxing or anything like that. I just, I'm just happening. It just happens that I'm unboxing it <laughs> on camera because I haven't opened it. But I looked at Clever Fox. So this is the first one, um, the first Clever Fox planner that I've had as of right now. I am wrapping up the Passion Planner. This is the, the, the middle size, I think, because they have one smaller and then they have one the size of the Clever Fox. But I like the Passion Planner. It, you know, it, it did what it was supposed to do. I, I, I noticed that I like lists. Um, I noticed that I like to write um, time blocking. I noticed I like to do that. I noticed that I like to do monthly reflections. And, you know, I noticed that I like to do a lot of things, by, you know, in the back of the planner. Can you see this? No. Well, all these extra note sections, I noticed that I did like that. And I did like this little pocket because I have some things in there. And actually my January letter is in here that I'm going to have to open um, in a few days. This is what I wrote last year. It says, open me on January, 2021. And I wrote this December 20, wait. I wrote this, I think January of 20 or December, 2019-ish, wait. Oh crap, last year. I did write it kind of December 2019 for January 20, 
for January 2020 for it to be open in January 2021. I hope all of that made sense. But anyway, I wrote this to open in a few days in January 2021. And then I have to get my mind ready to write um, another one. So, and then I'll talk more about stuff like that. So this is a Clara Fox. Um, I haven't used it. I just looked at some reviews about it. I can do, I guess, a review. Like, a, <laughs> I guess I can do a review about that. But I'm working with two planners. And then I'm going to go through this. I haven't gone through it. Like I said, um, I've only seen some reviews. And it's similar to the Passion Planner. I wanted to try the bigger size again. And it has a um, month in a glance, a month in a year um some tracking in there a lot of things about the list um yeah and i said well let me just try it and and see how it goes is this undated did i get undated no i think i did i got undated oh well it clearly says not dated weekly planner anyway um i got this one because i wanted another goal setting planner some people don't like goal setting planner i was debating like how much goal setting i want to do because i actually have a goal setting process that i take it came in this nice little box in the bubble wrap um and it, it talks about um how it works so I, I will need to go through that because i actually do the exercises and the planners i don't skip the front part so i'll make sure i do that and if you want me to i can come back or i'll just probably come back and go through the clever fox planner i know there are like thousands of videos on youtube but hey i may have a different perspective um so that um i have that planner the second planner that i have is it came here my sister got this for me for christmas and it is, da, 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 it's all fancy and stuff. This is the Full Focus Planner by Michael Hyatt. I've been watching like every single review I could find on this planner. I wanted to step up my game. Now I got the Clever Fox, just I was like, okay, I need to hurry up and get one. And then like something in my soul was like, but we need more, we want more. And then I saw this, this planner review I can't even remember the name because it's a European planner, but I was like, oh my gosh, that thing is perfect. But the reviews were saying that the shipping in the, um, to the States was more than the actual planner. And I was like, okay, it's, it's not that deep. And plus it was only a 90 day planner. So I would have to keep doing that and it just wasn't worth it for me, but it was a gorgeous planner. I think it was Ella somebody, but yes, loved it. But I was like, mm, I need to find something else. So then I, I started researching and then I found this one, the full focus planner by Michael Hyatt. And it is 90 days. So my sister got me a year subscription. So every 90 days, I'll get a new planner. And this is still a goal setting planner too. This is something that I've never done before, but I just liked, I want, you know, my whole new image is about vibe and things like that. I need, I want it to stay. It's not that I need to, I want to step it up. I want to be a little different, not a little different. Uh, we're all different, but I want a different vibe and mood for myself. The Clever Fox, it was still kind of in that, you know, look, I got in Rose Gold. I was kind of like, oh, I want to plan. But no, this one, like, get serious about your about your life. So I'll probably still use the Clever Fox to just get all of my sticker and decorating out that I do like to do, you know, because it's a, it's a stress reliever for me. I, I like it. I didn't think I was going to be that person, but I like the stickers and stuff. But then there are times when, I'll be honest, like, I don't want to do these stickers. Let me just see what I need to see. And then I think the full focus planner is going to do that for me. I'm excited. Like, I'll just tell you some things in here. And of course you can go watch a review on here. I may do one myself to show people how I actually do it. So it says Friday, I just opened the page. Um, daily big three, list your three most important tasks then other tasks. And then what really set this off for me was this little part up here. I don't know if you can see it, but I'll read it. It says morning ritual, workday startup ritual, workday shutdown ritual, and evening ritual. I have those things. And when I do, the, like literally, sometimes it takes me two hours in the morning to get ready. And that's not like all putting on clothes. That means mentally ready. And sometimes it takes me two, or two hours at night to fully shut down properly. And I find when I do those things that works for me, I go to sleep better, I wake up better, my days are better, my weeks are better. When I don't do them, 
I still get things sort of done, but I don't feel like I'm working at optimal capacity, right? So when I saw this, I was like, okay, I think we were made for each other. <laughs> and then it talks about other tasks and notes. I also like the big three. We hear that all the time. What are your three big things that, you're want, that you want to do? I write all the lists and I said, I'm gonna do everything that, that one day and then feel discouraged when I don't do everything. But then I realized once I, if I do three, then I've actually done something. So this will keep me from being so hard on myself. And then other notes. And like I said, we'll see how this goes is every 90 days. It does have a weekly review. And I think it has a monthly review in here. I'll have to go through it. But again, um, I'm excited about this. So I'm planning for 2021 in quarters like a business person, a CEO, um, because I do have a business. So now it's like step it up and do what you need to do. And again, planners don't make you successful. They're just tools and they're, they only work as good as you work them. So I don't want you to think that like once you go out and get a certain planner, your life is going to be perfect. No, nope, it's not. You have to work the plan. But for me, I've kept up with this passion planner uh, I've seen a major difference when I go actually plan out, do things, write things out, get my thoughts out, brain dump, all of that good stuff. Because I've learned, excuse the noise, I've learned that our that our brains are not meant to like really store information. They're horrible foul systems. And it's like, no wonder, you know, I used to feel so stressed about everything and, you know, couldn't the, I don't want to say the older I got, but the more responsibilities that I had, the more I expanded um, with different ideas, the more I couldn't keep things together. And it's because it was like so much running in my head. But when I flushed it all out, I became more creative. I calmed down more, less anxiety. It didn't completely go away, but less anxiety. So I'm excited. That's how I'm planning to use my two planners for 2021. I will see how it works. I'm very committed to them. And plus the full focus planner is not, not, not cheap. So we going to make it work. Um, especially my sister already got a full year subscription. So yeah. Yeah. All right. So the third thing that's coming up of how I'm planning for 2021. All right. I don't know if you know anything about vision boards or anything like that. I'm pretty sure you do. Like everyone now is, I can see more and more people talking about vision boards and planning or maybe I just really got serious about it, but I've been doing vision boards since a long time. I think maybe like 2012 is when I really, really started doing them. But you know what? They were like never working. It was just something fun to do, get some pictures, get some things out and say, woohoo, we cut some things out. I think I just, it, I, it wasn't even a vision board party. These were just, let's get together, cut out some shapes and stick them on <laughs> the poster, right? Um, and then I started getting more serious about 2016, 2017 really wasn't focused. I became a little more intentional, wasn't really focused. 2018, I don't think I did one in 2018, but 2019 for, I did one for 2019 better, but no, but 2020, the one I did in December for 2020, that one was the real deal. Holy feel. I put things on the board, uh, more about myself. I put like my face on there. I put um, my like some things on there, like for real, for real. I put things on there. And I will say half of those things came true. Like they really did because I was intentional and focused. And sometimes I wasn't so focused and I just let it happen and things rolled around. The other part of the things that did not happen, I know that was mindset. I know I allowed mindset to come in. Excuse me, it's my eggnog. Comment below if you like eggnog. This is store-bought, but I used to make homemade eggnog with my mom, but, you know, it's still a little sensitive, so I don't make it. I buy it, but I, I you know, I fix it up a little bit. Let me know if you like eggnog and if you put something a little extra in your eggnog. <laughs> but yes, it was a mindset thing, and I know that. And it was some, it's some doubt in there, like, whoa, can I really do this? Should I really be doing this? And I was like, okay, we can't, we can't go into 2021 like this. So I will be going to two vision board parties, but mainly for support. And I'll be honest, I'm not ready to do my vision board yet. I just got my word for the year that I want to use. And I'm just not in a space yet. I'm not in a space to really do my um, vision board with other people. And plus, I, I, I don't want to... <laughs> 
I don't want to um, do that with a crowd. I'll go and participate and for support and things like that, but I need to be like centered in my zone, doing my thing by myself, that I'm just going to be honest. Because that's how it did it last year. And if half the things on the board got done with me like that, then I, yeah. I will say I did download, well, brain dump, like all of this stuff that I wanted for my vision because I'm realizing that I look, I keep all my journals and my planners and I go back and kind of skim through and review them. I've had a consistent vision for like three or four years now. And it's time for those things to actually start happening slowly, but surely I can see them forming, but I haven't been as intentional. And now that I'm in this new space of really focusing, manifesting, meditating, praying, like all of this just with the with the purpose, like I was doing it, let me, okay, let me back up. I was doing it with a purpose, but it's like now everything has shifted for me and causing me to really think differently about some things. So, but anyway, like I said, I'm not ready. I will be ready. It may come the first week of January. It may come in a couple of days. The other thing that I'm doing is detoxing. Um, and not detox in the way because I ate so much food. Um, I, I was doing that anyway. I, we've been in the pandemic and on quarantine and things like that. So I've been eating anyway, but really detoxing so my skin can get better and my mind can get more clear and my body can feel good. Like there's a lot of tension and, and trauma in my body from somewhere and it could be subconscious. So I'm detoxing to get all the food out, all the thoughts out. And um, this is going to sound strange, but going through and realigning my chakras, I'm not into chakras like that, like not deep like that. But I know that there is something about the, the seven chakras in the body, how your body is aligned. And I have a lot of heart and throat issues happening and I know why. So I need to clear that out. And so I can be prepared. So for 2021, I know it sounds strange. Go look up chakras. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I need to raise my vibration over in, in all the areas of my life, really. But I really need to um, raise my vibration, especially financially, because I have some like ridiculous financial goals. And in order for me to achieve those, I need to be operating at a certain level of vibration and frequency. So that money will just come to me and flow through me. I'm not going to get into that. I've learned about that. And it's like, whoa, it's fascinating. And that is not even just like money um, itself. It's like what money represents. There are a lot of dreams and things that I want to accomplish in 2021. And it's going to take finances to do that. So I need to show up to be a certain person to make sure I attract this certain amount of money, whether that's through my service or whether it just flows to me, however it may come. I need to make sure that I'm showing up as you know, a certain type of person. So if you are not receiving all that you know you should be receiving or you want to receive, I'm going to suggest look at your your energy, your vibration, your what is happening around you. Um, and then think about who the person, who, who do you need to become now to attract the life that you want to have. So I hope that makes sense. I can do another video about that. The other thing I'm doing as I'm clearing out my chakras and my body detoxing, because I'm detoxing for the rest of this year, but I am going to do like something else at the beginning of January, not for weight loss or anything like that, because I put those weight loss resolutions like we're we, we not doing that, what we plan for. But if everything else lines up and then the, the body will <laughs> follow. Uh, but I do have some weight go like body things, you know, prepared for next year. Like I always do like, come on. Uh, but nothing like, oh, I'm going to make sure I lose all this weight. Now it's like, why are we losing this weight? Why Why do we want to? <laughs> kind of thing. So now I have a why. So I know that things will happen for real. But I'm also going to make sure that I'm getting clarity about certain things in my life and really being honest with myself. I realized that things didn't happen like they should have. Or I keep saying, I'm not going to say should. Things didn't happen like I wanted them to happen because I wasn't honest and clear, right? Um, clarity leads to success. Like the more clear you are, the more you're able to live the life that you want to live. And if you're second guessing, your brain knows it subconsciously. And it's like, oh, you really don't believe that. So we're not gonna you know, make that happen. 
So just being honest about myself and being clear and being honest about the things that you want. If you want certain things, be honest about it because your subconscious knows it. And then when you don't go after it, it's like, wait, wait, what? And then when you want something else, the subconscious is like, no, because is this a trick? Like I, I said, we wanted the other thing and you didn't go after it. So how do I know you want this thing for real? I noticed that I, I can look at my vision board and tell exactly what I was second guessing and why it didn't happen because I know that it works because like I said, half of the board worked <laughs> and I can, the other half did not. And I know why now, you know, I'm, I can be more intentional. All right. So this video um, has been all over the place. My apologies, but it's kind of like bittersweet. I wanted to share some things, but I also didn't want it to end. Um, I know I can do more videos, but it was something about Vlogmas. Um, and this is actually Christmas day that I'm doing this. So Whew, let me breathe. It's like bittersweet. I can't believe I'm tearing up. But anyway, how I'm planning for 2021. I told you I'm shifting my mindset and making sure I'm focusing more on my business. I know that um, there are things I have it lined up and I've just been looking at it for months. And now I was like, okay, I need you to implement all of those things. And it is crazy, ridiculous. And I have to get into the space of receiving that that is the vision for 2021. I'm also working between two planners. It would be the Clara Fox and the Full Focus Planner. One is a full year and one is a 90-day subscription. I explained that the first one, the Clever Fox, I'm going to use that as a big picture is goal setting. I'm going to make sure I do a lot of the goal setting pre-work in there, get everything laid out, flushed out. That would be my stress reliever because I get to put those stickers in there and have all that fun. And then the, the Full Focus is the more like, it's my vibe thing going on, my executive thing going on, my CEO vibe, and it's 90 days. So I have no choice but to use it so I can kick butt on those goals. I also mentioned that I will be going to two vision board parties, vision, yeah, vision board parties, even though at this point, I'm not ready to do a vision board. And I definitely don't want to do a real vision board with a group of people, but I am going there to support. So I want to make sure that my energy is still there to support, even though I'm not fully ready to do my vision board. I will do it in the silence when I know that my, my spirit is settled. And then I said, I'm going to um, detox and focus on realigning my chakras, detoxing, not so much just because I ate so much food, but really getting my skin back together, feeling right, and then clearing all of the toxic toxins out of uh, my body so I can focus more. And I mentioned that my chakras, I, I, it's a lot happening in the chest and throat area. I know why. And then the last thing I said was to be honest with myself and to be clear with myself. So that is how I'm going into 2021. We have what, six more days, I guess, seven, six more days. And hey, a lot can happen. Um, God made the universe the whole world in six days. So if he can do that, then yeah, we can see what I can do if I'm an extension of him. All right. I'm excited. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, if you're watching any of these replays, still go back and leave comments because I do see them. I want to hear from you. How are you going into 2021? Um, like I, I say be um, before in a few other videos, this is a learning community. Yes, I am Dr. V and I always love you listening and learning with me, but I also want to listen and learn with you because that's how we grow together. So this is the last vlog, miss. I can't wait to um, really come and, and display the channel so you can see what I have in store and Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, and anything else in between. I will see you all next time. Thank you so much. Bye.